Baker Mayfield officially traded yesterday. NFL news. Is there any is more? It, is it news? Uh, it's news. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be talking about NFL. They're like, oh, NFL news. Oh, yeah, I got yeah. a, There's this I got big emergency. Falling. I got an emergency hit today. Oh, Ooh, what's yeah. going on? What are we at today? The Cleveland rounds? You're making the Cleveland rounds today? No, no. I do a podcast up there. <laughs> oh, is that the one where there's a living room with uh, old Crawford? Yeah. With Jay, yeah. You ever have uh, you ever have lunch on that show? Hmm. Oh yeah, I ate an apple the other day last night. Not on the show you did it. No <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. That's tremendous. <laughs> Consistent. I like it. Yeah. What are, uh, does does like, this mean that Cleveland hey, has let me ask you a question. what's going on? Please. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You can say what you want about me. When am I not me? Never. <laughs> okay, like I will say, I got I, I don't I don't go out of my way to be hateful. I don't I'm I'm respectful. Um, I'm pretty nice. I don't go out of my way to blast people. I don't need to have a hot take. Well, what right? is that? Like you don't a, have you don't have any hot takes? No, I just like I think. Are you gonna are you gonna let them know Jacoby Brissett sucks? I did. I said, like, don't be fooled. As much as y'all hate Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield's a better quarterback than Jacoby Brissett. Oh, not even close. Right. So even the people yeah. who hate, to, even the people who right. hate Tua realize this Jacoby Brissett stinks. And I'm but, sorry, but, I know he's from down here, but like, I, I I always get caught, and this is what gets me about sports, right? And this is for owners, this is for coaches, this is sometimes even for players, right? That. If it's all about winning, then why do we even have situations like this? Because if the franchise's job is to win as many games as possible and you have basically burned a bridge without knowing, you know, how things were going to play out. Yep. Then, you know, like egos can't get in the way. Egos can't get in the way when, but it, they do. I mean, they and, do though. Like it's, and I you got to deal with it. Especially, okay, guess what you got to deal with? Especially with quarterback. Especially with the quarterback. And then, and then here's the old look. We would like to think that when we hear after a guy leaves, right, all the stuff that oh, it was better in, without him anyway, right? Yeah. Oh, well, there's no, you but, can't say that. But 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 let me explain something to you, right? Everybody knows. Right. The, the 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 Browns said that there's a lot of guys, a lot of chatter around the building. They like Jacoby Brissett more. And you know, my reply was that's because y'all haven't played any games. Yeah, he stinks. And, and, and here's the thing. I can make these comments because I know for a fact Jacoby Brissett is a good dude. But that ain't got nothing to do with playing quarterback. No. Tim Tebow was a great guy. Yeah. Some people was there some quarterbacks that they just didn't like. There were people who wasn't that fond of Ben Roethlisberger. No. No. But they weren't going to never tell him he couldn't be our quarterback. No. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers too. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Too. Right. So, like, not Tom yeah. Brady. Everybody really does seem to like Tom Brady. Yeah, you Brady. know what? He look. Sometimes, as an athlete. You're not you're hated because you're good. No, That's Tom him. Brady. Yeah, I hate like him. that dude ain't did nothing wrong. He's a cheater. Okay. That's all right. If 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 back then if you say, hey, you want Tom Brady on your team, you No, I didn't want Tom Brady on my team. You I don't want him. You're, then you're a liar. I don't want Tom Brady you're on my team. You're a liar. You don't want Me and Flores were the only people. You don't you don't want you don't you don't want to win. Me and Flores were the only people who don't want Tom Brady okay. on our team. Like I, I do believe that. Why I didn't he want Tom Brady on the team? I still don't understand. That's such a strange thing. Why did he want Ryan Fitzpatrick over Tom Brady? He, it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was the way they were going about it. it wasn't the right way to do it. So he, like, he really took a moral. St like he's the only you, guy in sport. Let me just say this straight. I just want to know. Okay. Brian Flores, killer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Been with the Patriots. So let's just say, he came up in a culture of shady. Okay. He comes from the Patriots. <laughs> I'm to believe that this man was was made uncomfortable by tampering. The the like the the most overlooked crime mm 
in all of sports. Like the Can New I- York Knicks were like, yeah, Jalen. Like the New York Knicks tried to make it look like they didn't tamper with Jalen Brunson, even though like his entire family tree works for the New York Knicks. And <laughs> they were like, ah, oh, yeah, we got a meeting with the Heat. And the Heat were like, no, you don't. So let me put a different spin on it. Brian Flores is a new coach, a new minority coach, black coach, that maybe feels that if this goes sideways, he's going to be collateral damage. So he doesn't want any part in it. You see, everybody else could do that because ain't nothing going to happen to all the other parties involved. But if something should happen and it goes sideways, the easiest thing to do is get rid of the coach. So maybe he was looking at it from that standpoint and say, I don't want no part of this. Maybe, I guess. But it just seems like such a nothing Does it? thing. Yeah. It, also de- it, all do- it also depends on where you are. It depends on where you are as in, in that profession. He just became a head coach. Well, like, is it, okay, so is the point where he feels like he would have done wrong by Bill Belichick? Like, does he have that kind of loyalty? Because no! Wasn't Tom Brady on the contract? With the, at the time, the Patriots. Because I'm talking, right. I'm talking about can't, this time. You can't, I'm talking you can't about do that. Yeah, come on. See, but that's my point. Like, it's easy for Stephen Ross to do that. It's easy for Tom Brady, if, if it's true, to even do that. Because what are the consequences? How are we going to look at this? I, I get you, but I, but maybe you're right. Maybe it's the idea of being the head guy. But again, he comes from an organization that has the the, the damage is done guy, where they have a guy. Oh, oh, you, you're filming the scouts. You know the scouts over there, and he's like, oh no 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 no. We're we're just filming a documentary. Really? Oh, you're filming a documentary. How come you're not filming the, the thing your sister said? Damage is done, my friend. No, no, no. I can delete friend. it. I can delete it. No, no, you can't. Sorry. Right. I I get, I, again, again. Such a strange thing. It not like I, and I don't know if that to be true, but, but I do, I kind of got that feeling that Flores was like, oh, hell no. Y'all ain't, uh, uh, no. Nope. Like, for Flores, though, like, okay, the tanking thing, I get. That I get because you're right. I feel like a minority coach being asked to lose on purpose, so easy to make it look like escape. Why are you giving me extra money? Oh, because you're going to fire me and you're going to go with some Hall of Fame coach at some point. Exactly. The tampering thing to me is weird because it's like tampering. That's what you're, that's what you got. You got the, the ickies about, but, but, but he's consistent with who he is. Right. If you hear the stories, does it fit? Well, hold on though. Hold on. He also reportedly had a very like was reportedly in contact with Deshaun Watson, like, you know. Two. Yeah, but, but so, that was no, no, no. That was different. He had, well, I know because Deshaun wanted had, out. I, right. I, I get it. I get it. Deshaun, right. Deshaun, but so did Brady. Essentially, Brady did too. Nah, but the, Deshaun Watson had the okay for from teams to try to work something out. I'm okay, more than okay, sure. Okay. Well. So then again, I go back to, is it a Belichick thing? Like this, cause if he, is it, is it the idea that you came from there and you didn't want to do wrong by your mentor or the guy you used to work for because you know, all the drama that goes over there. I just find it weird. I don't know. Yeah. That's I because find- you, you know, that, that, but partly because you don't care. You do it. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I didn't want Tom Brady. I don't want Tom now, Brady. I'm not. It doesn't have to be Tom Brady. Jeez. But yeah, the situation. Know. Oh yeah, if you told yeah. me I was running an organization, I was like, oh, if you but, told me the but, sketchy things that Tobin could get away with, tampering is like, oh, I'd be like, that, but but Dude. that's that's sometimes the two uh, worlds that we live in, right? Like like as as a minority, you have to be extra careful because the same the same crime could be looked at in a totally different way. When you're a minority, and 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 so from that standpoint, I don't know if this is to be the case. We don't know if this is to be the case with, as far as why, uh, Flores, you know, wasn't buying it or, or doing it, but I could see 
a person like Brian Flores looking at that situation and saying, no, 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 no. I ain't getting caught up in this. You know, I'm a minority coach. And at the end of the day, Brady ain't going to get fired. Stephen Ross ain't going to be asked to, to, to uh, sell the team, but they could fire me if this goes sideways. I don't want no part of it. What's a better revenge game? All right, you tell me. Is it Baker versus the Panthers? Or is it Miami Dolphins? Uh, what week is this for the season? This is week week seven. Versus Pittsburgh? Sunday Night Football versus Pittsburgh. It's Miami versus Pittsburgh because you, as of right now, you absolutely positively know two is going to be the starter. Oof, that's going to be good. I can't you wait. You see for what that I'm week. saying? But do you think the story is going to be? Do you think like the story for that week? It's hard to know right now because who knows how good the Dolphins are going to be. But let's just say Dolphins are decent. All right, let's just say, mm-hmm. you know, let's say let, let let's give them a little. Uh, we'll, we'll give them uh, a, a four and three going into that week, right? Or mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So, or I guess they would, let's say they're four and two going to that week. Whatever. Going to that week. Sunday Night Football, do you think that the Tua storyline of him and Flores is going to be the bigger deal, or do you think it's going to be just more Flores and the lawsuit is going to be the bigger deal? Like, what do you think they'll talk about more? Both, they got a a whole week. They'll touch them all. It's going to be weird. But I think the the, the, for football people, the biggest thing will be the players involved in the game, whether it be a coach or a player. Right. So, yeah, um, I'd imagine that I'd imagine that the brought the national broadcast. I am curious how much they'll touch on it because they are an NFL partner. And, and, and keep in mind that he ended up with probably the organization that has been leading the charge in all of this. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Does that soften the blow, even though there's still a lawsuit out there? Does it soften the blow when he has a job with one of the organizations that have been in the forefront of um, creating opportunities or for minorities? When you say soften the blow, do you mean like it softens the blow as far as what the NFL is going to face as backlash? No, just yeah, yeah, to to some extent. And like anytime you can divide and conquer. So when they say, hey, they could always say, hey, this is not throughout the whole NFL. This is just this particular owner. Right. Not saying that, like, first of all, they're accusations. Like in in next to Pittsburgh, Stephen Ross has led the charge in giving opportunities to a lot of people. Right, he has been the guy that when every other team is trying to get uh, resources from local government and cities, he's put his own money into it. So. It comes from a guy who, you know, has been awkward at times, but has really done everything he can to be successful. Mm. You you know what I mean? And um, So I think the conversation will be more about the Flores and Tua conversation or, or relationship than any of the other stuff. And that's you know that footballs have been, would have been going on for uh, a couple of weeks, or uh, for for six weeks. I gotta say, man, like this is a this is a fun schedule the Dolphins got coming up. A lot of revenge games. Well, I gotta pick a side. Matchups. I gotta pick a side. For what? When I go to the game. You're going to Browns and Dolphins. Of course. Oh, that's good. You wanna you wanna go to the sideline? Hell yes. Okay. All Hell right. yes. Now you know, yeah, we 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 we'll get we we'll, we we'll get those uh, sideline passes. Yeah, yeah me me and Jay Fig are gonna go too, right? Jay Fig, you want to? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, for sure. But for I will sure. I will say this: we might not be on the sideline; we might be in the box. So. Either way, 
It's oh. probably better. I don't know if I, I'd probably embarrass you if I was on the sidelines. You can't embarrass me. Well, like, not like I mean, you sure? no, no. But listen, <laughs> this guy, y'all see the silliness and all that. He is so serious at MMA, right? He's got his computer. He's keeping score. He's he's tweeting out the rounds, you know, everything. And I'm just there to get my drink on. Yeah. And by the way, and, hey, Dana White, where's my Miami card, dude? You said soon. What's up with that, dude? Where is my my damn Miami card, Dana White? I think he's waiting for the next Masvidal They're thing. going. Did you know that the, the, the – get this. This really angered me. They're going back to Jacksonville. No. That no. would anger me. <laughs> they uh, They're going to – for Usman versus Edwards, Usman's next fight's in Salt Lake City. <gasps> Salt what? Lake City. You know what they've never had. You know what's crazy? You know another place where they've never had, and I can't think of UFC ever being there. Hmm. Superdome. I feel like they've done Smoothie Center. I don't think they've done Superdome. Oh, you talking about the basketball? Uh, right. I um, feel like, yeah, I feel like they've done. You basketball. think they've done? I can't even recall. He, said, he has a, you know, Dana does a thing. He says he doesn't like stadiums. He's not big into stadiums. He says that arena, like he just thinks arenas play better for his. Uh, it looks his, better on TV. It looks better yeah, on pay per view. That well, that's the thing, right? Like you've been to the UFC. Like it's the production. It's not like anything else. It's right. so good watching right. UFC live between <laughs> just the music and the video packages and all that type of stuff. Like. The spectacle of it is tremendous. But I will say this. When Canelo fought in um, Hard Rock. That was cool. That was cool. So Fire. Like, Jay the, Balvin. The, the oh, Turkish yeah. Wolf. Yeah. So um, I think it can be done. But I get what Dana's saying about the small 18 to 20,000 and it being packed. Um, the the atmosphere is unbelievable, especially for like, I mean, and and the thing about fighting is this that is just crazy. Like, you think in Miami people don't show up till the end of the first quarter? Go to an MMA card. Those first few fights, even the first one when the pay per view starts, crickets. Well, especially boxing. Boxing, that's... Oh, my goodness. No one's... Everybody's out there just gambling up until... Right. Right. In fact, the worst thing they did was they put us right in front of a pie gal table. (laughs) And we had an hour break in between every fight. Yeah, that was a bad one. That was a bad one for sure. So... Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, Leroy giving Tobin more, more proof that Tobin is a fan with good access. Now he's oh, he is. He I'm, is. Not no, a fan but, with I'm good telling access. you, he is the the most professional I ever see him. Because let me tell you, he walks into a building. We could go to the lowest cards of the cards in just this region. Tobin walks in, he getting dapped up from everybody. Dude, I'm telling you though, I'm you know. I, I'm I'm a journalist. That's what I am. No, you're not. I'm a journalist. No, you're not. You you are a fan. Oh no. What would happen? Oh no. Oh, show it, show it, J Fig. Show it. I don't know. <laughs> show it, because I've called him this. Show it. Really? You've called yes. him that? Yes. Uh, yeah, I just saw it. I get called this all the time. Oh. <laughs> I actually just went and saw the uh, the new minions. Oh, oh nice. really? How was it good? I liked it. My you know my daughter was not a fan. My son loved it. Yeah. Because here's the thing that's annoying now. My son, because oh, we had this run of all new movies being on demand. Yeah. He thinks that he can go get any movie now. So we go to the theater and he goes, "Well, I want to go watch it at home." I'm like, "That's not how it works anymore, dude. You gotta wait. There's release dates." Whoa. Hey. But uh, I have been now. Uh, hey. I've been called Gru many a times. Hey, uh, hold on. <laughs> A man of your access. What? Just saying. Have you seen the new uh, TikTok craze that has uh, kids being banned from? Yeah, from I saw more? headlines about what is going on hey, what? there. 
there's like a TikTok craze of some sort or I don't know, a trend in which uh, a bunch of teenage boys, typically between the ages of 13 and 17, are uh, referring to themselves as gentle minions and attending uh, the premiere of the Minions movie in suits. Just, you know, like a crowd of them just wearing suits, being very sophisticated. Why is that getting them banned? (laughs) Because apparently it's just causing too much commotion and they're buying out. Uh, seats and you know it's supposed to be a family movie just imagine that you're there with your kid and then you got this like 17 year old or this 16 year old who's like laughing in a suit but apparently you can't wear a suit anymore <laughs> i don't understand why that's like that's the well, thing why where are they, they draw wearing the line. suits is my question because they're gentle minions instead of gentle men they're gentle minions yeah you know what you never know what 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 uh mischief they're up to i'm glad sure. they're banning them oh wow okay. yeah <laughs> I feel like you switched on this quickly wow nice scarf pretty good <sighs> <laughs> perfectly edited too yeah that's a good so start mad right now that's solid i'm so sorry that's why i sent it to our chat and that uh, on twitch oh, good uh all right everybody that's our show for today thanks for tuning on in wow uh, you ended up on a pretty sour note yeah because they just threw up the uh the the marlins game and otani kicked our ass yesterday yeah, it's true. Oh, he was that dealing. Guy's that guy's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good. We should get one of those. Ooh, we tell one. Stan. Well, tell Stan. Yeah, listen, he is like, unlike anybody in sports, Shohei Otani is one of one. Yep. Everybody says that. He is literally one of one. 